Alrighty, welcome back. Um, we're back at the engine again. And what we're going to do today is we're just going to pull the pan off and may, maybe pull the valve pan covers off. We're going to pull it up near, and i got Jimbo here to help me. He, he's a little bit more knowledgeable on what's going on than I am. And we just want to take a look to make sure that it's worth going forward. And the only reason we want to do that is because the confidence level is not high. That's uh, basically the only we're thing. We're worried. Yeah, we just we just want to make sure, you know. I don't want to go through anything. I don't want like you, know, I don't want to put it in. I don't want to paint it, detail it, and and not take a look when we've found little things, or big things, or whatever we found, um, to take the, take the chance. So basically, what we're going to do is is we're going to pick it up and take the oil pan off it and see if things look right. And I got Jimbo here to help me. And the reason being is because um, I'd like to have a second eye and someone that with a little more knowledge on this situation. Jim, uh, we've done a few engines on the bottom, have you not? Um, well, you know what's going uh, on. I, I'm no rocket scientist in this field, but I can kind of tell when something's been done a little bit right compared to totally wrong. <laughs> you know, but we're not taking it apart as such. We're, we just want to make sure that it looks like it's been bored with hex scratches and new pistons. And we want to make sure all the connecting rod caps look the same in the right direction with all the same bolts. We don't want, we just want to make sure it's not cobbled. Like, yeah, I don't want to put we're it not checking not. the torque. I don't think we need to because that's probably like the car, the, this, this should have warranty from what I understand. So we're not going to go any farther than necessary just to do a visual to make sure that uh, within reason that you have a peace of mind. Yeah. And we believe that the oil seeping around the loose bolts on the oil pan uh, have got the gasket soaked with oil. So when we take the oil pan off, I don't think the gaskets are stuck. So it, it'll give us a chance to wash them off a little bit and wipe the oil off them so that maybe they'll seal a little bit when we put it back together. Explain, but, explain a gasket. Like, the gasket like gaskets, oil. when you put something together, from my knowledge, uh, you use uh, there almost any kind of chemical or even soap and water, but you de-oil it. Like the surfaces, you don't put oil on a surface and then put a gasket on something and bolt it together because it, it won't seal. So oil has to be wiped off the surface with the gasket and then you put it together tight. And I believe the first couple times the motor's running and it warms up and cools off, that's what seals the gasket. And it should work. Now, if you have, say, a valve cover where you want to take it off to check things, say, in a month's time and then two months' time, like maintenance on some old motors, on one side of the gasket, you would put a little oil on the surface so that gasket never seals, so that it always sticks to one side so you can take that cover off and put it back on to do maintenance. But it's going to seep a little bit, but gaskets and oil don't mix. You, you don't want any oil. So where we have oil seeping out around all these loose panels bolted on, that means those gaskets aren't going to seal, even if we tighten it up because they're soaked with oil. So we're going to wash out the gaskets when we, well, uh, try to wash some of the oil off the gasket and the surface when we put it back together. I uh, I, if I, I keep did, I, talking, I'm just going to repeat myself, so I might as well stop. <laughs> <laughs> I did but, not know that. I'm going to turn this bad no, boy but, around because we're going to want to blow it off, and I don't want to blow it towards Jolene's car. Now, in some of the antique motors that have cork gaskets, my understanding is oil-free, put the pan on with the gasket, snug the bolts, and then let it sit for like six hours, then snug the bolts around again, and then tomorrow, snug the bolts again, and then put your oil in. Ah. And give it lots of time for the gasket to fit and slowly uh, 
go into place because if you over tighten it, all you're going to do is crush the gasket and bulge it out and push it right out. The same as if you put silicone on a gasket, like a cork gasket, it just pushes it out. You can put silicone on a gasket, it's not that bad of an idea, but make sure you never tighten the bolts till the silicone dries and then slowly over a couple days snug up the bolts. You know, but if you just put on a valve cover that has a cork gasket and you just go in there and tighten all the bolts at 20 pounds foot torque, you're just going to mushroom and wreck that gasket and it's going to leak and it looks like hell. I'm but the gaskets are supposed to stick, but it, the motor has to heat up and cool down a couple times for that chemical in the gaskets to actually adhere to the metal and you don't want any oil in there so i got that there but, so we want to blow yep, this, we want yep, to blow, this, blow this off good. first you want to blow the top off first you want to try to just get the oil pan off first no might as well while we're washing i'd say try to wash and clean it up a little bit first while we're making that kind of mess we might as well be thorough make the mess and then clean it up a bit and then we'll try to maybe uh drain the oil and so we're hoping for like, the best. We're hoping that all there's all the same right. nuts on everything and all the That's what I'm hoping for anyways. Like uh Like the valve covers are still stuck down, so it's a good time to wash around there before we break them loose. Well, they were and, they, they were very quite oily cuz we washed them know, off. You know, they and, are stuck. You know, you'd have to, just, you know, pop. They're siliconed yeah. on. Are they? Yeah, you can see the goop okay. around the edge. So, um, I'm just going to spray this up here. And we'll get this cleaned off. But I've had an awful time with gaskets leaking. And I've learned that you can't have the surfaces clean enough for the gaskets to actually work. And even the best you can do, they still quite often leak. I'm gonna turn on, turn on the air compressor. But We'll blow that off, eh, Jimbo? And just give a little brush with a brush? Where'd that little brush go then? But anyway. A regular paintbrush would work better. I can't regular get down paintbrush. in there. Well, that's gonna be hard to find here. We could, we could pull the wires off, but I had, I'd want a number of um, them. No, you might as well leave them on. You've got them wet. They're just as dirty as everything else. Okay. But this is so stiff, I can't get down in there. You almost need i uh, I'm going to let this thing down some because I want to, I don't want the. Yeah, it's too stiff. I can't get down in around. A long, just a house paintbrush, like a long bristle. You don't have, you don't have a paintbrush, do you? Probably not. Um, I just want to get it back. Jeez, almost. Well, that might. We'll get it out with this. Oh, that doesn't work bad. Well, it was clean before. Yeah. It was clean. It's just dirt from us setting it around here. That's yep. all. I don't really want it on that rack I just done. It's not rack. Oh, no. That's you're fine. okay. That's fine. Get spark plug wires, too. Oh, here, I'll hold it. I got it. Okay. That's got like a funnel going down the spark plug too, you know. I know, yeah. Not good. Well, yeah, just well. factory. Smells good. Smells clean, eh? Yeah. 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 Want to do it again, do you? Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's do it again. Especially down around the spark plug holes. And the spark plug cap. Yeah. There we go.
<laughs> Blowing paint right off. Yeah. What do you think, Jimbo? Good enough? Looks Washers on? What do you think? Yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks a lot better than it did. Oh, yeah. Before we take them valve pan covers off, I'll make sure I get all the, the, the crush washers off. Yep. Before and we do that. And the dirt off the threads. And the dirt off the threads. Yeah. Okay. Actually, yeah, no. It, so we're pretty good for that then? So let's let's take the oil pan off. Uh, I guess we probably should continue cleaning. Okay, you want to continue? Yeah, we want everything as clean, kind of right from here down as we can get it. You can tell, like, like that. Yeah, like. yeah. Might as well have everything as clean as possible. It's got to be clean sooner or later. So might as well clean everything as we go, and then. We don't want any dirt from outside inside, so uh, the cleaner we get it, the better control we'll have. <laughs> control. But, it's true. but we're going to, we're pouring the oil out carefully into a clean container, uh, and it can go right back in the motor. It'll give us a sign whether the oil has any uh, metal filings in it. But... I don't, I suspect, personally, I believe inside will probably be okay. Like, I, I think maybe a little bit of professionalism was done inside. Hope so. Outside, maybe he was getting tired and uh, missed tightening things and putting bad judgment on some stuff. But inside, <laughs> at the time, he might have been a different person when he did inside. But we'll hope. All we can do is hope, eh, Jimbo? Well. Huh? So all I can do is hope. But I got to check or I'd be well, crazy not to, wouldn't I? It's not. Since the oil pan leaks yeah. around there and the bolts are loose, we know we got oil all through the gasket. So we got to wash, wipe that off a little bit anyway. She was leaking bad up front, you can tell when you clean it. Jimbo noticed that this is for the alternator. 
Jimbo was sitting here last night and you noticed that, that bracket, that, that there, is supposed to go in there. Jimbo said, isn't that bracket? They wouldn't have made it like that if it didn't Yeah, I didn't, I didn't notice it. A lot of, like in the front, there's a lot of thought there we can't take off. Like yes. that, you know what I mean? Because, I understand that. You know, like without dismantling the motor. So. Well, we, I, all but, I, listen, all I but, want is a little more confidence. That's all that's. But it's not a big deal to take the oil pan off. I have to, have to. Like I have to, have to take that bolt out there, have you to, know. to fix that. And if we are, ha if we're happy with what we see inside the motor from the oil pan view, yeah. Uh, then we clean things up and put them I'm, back together. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest with Jolene. If I if there's anything out of place or out of order, it's over. <laughs> it's, I'm yeah. Not, I'm not going with it. You know, basically that's what I'm going to tell you. Uh, if it's anything out of place and anything that's not right, it's over. Because my, I'm, it's over. <laughs> I'm not going. I'm not going there. Someone in, in order to. Make sure that it's what you wanted to put in your car. You'd have to tear it all apart and redo it. Because if there's something wrong or anything out of place, it's just not worth it. In my opinion. What do you think, Jimbo? Would well, you go? What? You, you, um, you, you paid for a finished product with no stress. Well, so that's let's face what, it. There's, there's always, there's always a, 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 you know, you like, know, a, yeah. a chance, but let's get real. When you see negligence on the outside, yeah, it makes you question the inside, and that's, that's it's all I'm a asking. terrible state of mind to be in. <laughs> Especially when you're going to put it in a car, you get to turn the yeah. bottom off to fix it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Ah. yeah. I was thinking what? with the with the head, like with the with the washers missing on the head, and I know why I didn't catch it now. We watched the video. Well, it had the breather on top of it, and I couldn't see any of that. Oh, yeah. Do you know what okay. I mean? Right. I yeah. didn't notice it. Didn't didn't notice it. Yeah. But now that when the breather's off, you yes. see it. And you would not notice it with the breather on. Um, and I'm hoping that all the washers are on the inside the valve paint where the head well, is. Well, everything has to look good inside. Uh, we already determined that. Every, everything inside has to look right. I think I'm getting dirty in the face, aren't I? Yeah. What? I think I'm getting dirty in the face, aren't I? Uh, a little bit. Uh, not as... Huh? Um, you'd get dirty if, if you were working above your head laying down. No. Like there's people that have dogs and they let them outside for a run around in the spring or summer That's after us. it rained and the dog comes back covered with mud. You know what I mean? They find a mud hole and they roll all around, then come back in the living room. Oh, yeah. Get up on the couch. <laughs> That's what I always say when I go in the house and I don't take my boots off. So the dog don't take its boots off. Yeah. <laughs> the dog would run in and find a mud hole for the fish. Already. But it's not a big deal to have uh, gaskets seeping oil. No, I'm, you know, I'm not. That's why that's... Dripping, dripping and leaving a puddle, that's an issue. But seeping a little bit is, you know, not a big deal at all. But Well, I guess where I was going, where the bolts were loose. Yeah. And I could see oil around on the dust. And the bolts was... are loose. 
Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Mm. Like, I never had a chance. No, to and that it. contaminates the gasket. Oh, well, that's what I'm saying. I never had yeah. a chance. So that's why I was concerned because yeah. as I took it off, everything's loose. So I'm not the only one that's saying that. No. No. <laughs> no. Alrighty. Let, let's. I don't want to go up too high. Uh, high enough for your jug. I guess. But. <coughs> oh. Here's the jug, so I know how high to yeah. go. <clears throat> The thing probably holds six or seven quarts. Well, we'll have the plug right there, so if it yeah. goes. And I got a bucket yeah. right there I cleaned okay. it. Okay. What about the... High enough? Yep. That thing's gonna take off. Oh, work. wipe the bottom of the motor off first before you put that underneath. Yeah, oh. I get Yeah. And we wow. and you want to crack the nut loose first before you put that there in there in the way either. Also, um. oh, it's a good chance to detail this when I get this off the old pan. Personally, I, I'm hoping and I believe we will see things inside to be satisfactory. Hoping. You know. Hoping. Hoping for the best. But uh, there's, you know, like, um, but how do you know for sure without <laughs> taking a peek? <laughs> <laughs> I should let you take the old thing out. <laughs> But where every nut and bolt on the outside is loose, uh, it it doesn't it doesn't actually um, make you feel good. Well, it doesn't give you the vote of confidence. That's what I'm thinking. Ah, come on now. Oh, what happened? Just trying to make sure I get, don't get too much oil and don't spill it. Oh, I'm, I'm spilling it. Oh, anyways. it's coming out too fast. Well, it's coming out. Your quite funnel fast. won't catch it all. And I don't know if I got the jug full yet or not. Oh no, that looks good. Oh, I'll go over. Uh, you're almost halfway. Okay, good. That's why. Yeah, right down. here. There, that's halfway. Let me know. I can clean that up, obviously. Oh. Yeah. yeah right here. Oh, you can go little ways. Uh, you're getting close now. Yeah. I'm gonna take it. Put that rag there. Um, I got that other jug of oil there. Um, that little bit of oil you have in that won't hurt anything. This oil is only in here for half an hour running. Half an hour, and then you're draining it. Anyway. So just put it in that. Uh, no, I'd put it. In, well, it doesn't, that little bit of oil you have in that jug, this might not hold it all. I'm just thinking I'll put a little bit more in this, fill it full, and then I can. But, but that, that's clean. You don't pour, when you pour this oil back in, there's a little bit of dirt in the bottom. You don't pour that last little bit out nope. anyway. We won't do that. I'm going to get a. I can sand a little bit more. But, like, as soon as this motor warms up to temperature, even once or twice, you drain the motor. You drain the oil and put new oil in it. 
But this will, by taking the oil pan off, we'll at least look at the bottom of the oil pan to see if there's any metal filings. Yeah. As I said, there's a lot of stories that will be uh, clarified. Yeah, we just want to know. But just want to know. I'm just, I just, just want to be satisfied but. with. Should write Jaguar on that probably, so we know. But oh, not now. Not right now. No. Do it later. You're going to use that or just well, the this pan? Is... How much oil is in there? That's full. Oh, no. This is, I wiped it out. That's about as clean as it can be. Everything, that's clean. The Ferrari holds 11 liters. Wow. They don't want you to run out of oil then. Yeah. But it's good for 8,000 miles before you have to change it. Well, the oil plug wasn't wasn't tight. It wasn't leaking, though. It wasn't leaking. You got no. that right. Um, oil plugs don't need to be overly tight if they don't leak. But usually, I find if they're not tight, they leak. But... Mm. Hopefully we can get it all in that bucket. So this motor was only run the one time? Twice, I think. Twice, because that's why it's I really asked dark if already. he ran it up to temperature. He said yes quite quick. So okay. I'm thinking Well uh, no, I'm not sure. Well with no with water, you. with no water or radiator, quite uh, run up to temperature would be just a few seconds. <laughs> really I guess, yeah. You know. Yeah. It did have like a, thirty seconds or a minute running would be up to temperature with no water. We don't need all the oil out. The oil pan will hold some. Well, we'll just need to let it go for a second yep. or two. But all, everything's good so far. Yep. This is how it is. Oh yeah, I got my fingers crossed, believe me. Got my fingers crossed. Wrench, take the oil pan off. You want to use a wrench or just use the air? Oh, would it, oh there's spots you need to use a wrench, but or long, deep sockets. But. Uh, tighten, loosen. Oh, you might as well use your air. Yeah, I'm just loosening them up. Do you have um, any like cardboard to kneel on? Do I have any cardboard to lean on? Neil. Yeah, may have. Okay. So I foolishly wore my best pants. <laughs> <laughs> this shop is actually very clean. I'm amazed. How are you, Jimbo? I've got, this is what Because body work and motor work is not in the same shop are not recommended, right? Yeah, I understand. Like, <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> but you've got her cleaned up pretty good. And you're you, not making any dust. Here. You can lay that right on top of that. Oh. You want to that rag. Uh, oh. Whatever one you want, Jimbo. Probably the cleanest one. I got a piece of Bristol board to put on top of that if you like. Uh, it's okay. I got a light rag over it. I'm gonna get the air going. Air engine. Any suggestions like you how are we gonna got a little pan to put the nuts and bolts in I do got a Tim Hortons cup yep we'll take one that's got nothing in it I'm drinking my coffee oh yep mm. 
Well, keep it's, your, keep your it's not crossed. a big deal to take the oil pan off. Uh, so, it, and it is a big deal to see what we're going to see. One, ah, 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 ah. Can't get them ones. Can't get it with the. Too many of them to be the count today. Leave one in on each side. We'll leave that one in. Yeah. Or it doesn't matter which, but yeah. yeah. What size is that? Half inch? Half inch, yeah. I got the wrench over here, Jim. Oh, I was just gonna get a short reach socket in case you that doesn't quite fit. Jolene, look amazing this morning. Nice and bright. Woke up to seven, looking like a 10. How you feeling? Feeling good about it? Oh, it'll be what it be. It'll be what it be, and that's all it can be. Sweetheart, it'll be what it can be, and that's all it'll be. Hope for the best. For the best. Oh, I forgot. This. I was supposed to leave one in one side. I'll leave that one in, I guess. Here's a short reach left, one if you I need left, it. I, well, I did. I took them out there. I got that one out. Okay. There's one left right there. Yep. One left there, and I'll leave one yeah, on the front don't. side on that one. So I got to go up in here. Punch myself in the face. want to take this uh, 7 sixteenths. Studs in the front. All right. Stud, stud. The other side. Where's your 7 16 wrench? Up on the wall. Oh, on the well, wall. Well, there might be one over here, Jimbo. Uh, I looked, I didn't see it. Okay. Oh yeah, you got lots of them. Awesome. Um, There's one on the vent right there. There's one right there, I think, 7 16 Yeah, we want to take this inspection plate off the flywheel. Bum, 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 bum. That on. That's on there tight. Good. 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 Oh, I wonder. I got one in the back, and so I'll leave one in the front and the side. That has to come off? Uh, I'm not sure what ha if it does. Yeah, I don't know what it, what it does around the oil pan. Okay. Like it might have a little lip there that catches it. Might not do. Well, it'd be nice to see if the torque converter's tight, bolts. Would it not? Um, Yep. Well. Yep. What if I got one on the front side? Of, what's it? I just want to do the opposite on either side. I left one on the back, I think. I got one back there. I'll leave one on the front. That'll kind of. Right. Oh, 
Oh, it came right off. I'm not surprised. Now this piece right here, Jimbo, do you know if that goes in there and does anything or can I take that uh, off? I would say seeping. don't touch it. Okay. It's That's seeping. oil pump. Okay, but okay. That's the oil pump. I would unhook it here, but I would say don't touch this. That's the oil pump and we don't know. I don't know enough about it. Well, I know that it's loose. It's loose. Oh my God, it's loose. Um, no, it's loose. See, this is where that buddy that has your other motor might have some insight about some of this stuff. So you, before you're done, you might want to contact them just for a couple heads up on a couple issues. Probably. But I would, personally, I wouldn't touch this, but I don't like the idea that those bolts weren't tight. But I wouldn't take that off because I'm not sure of the ramifications of how it lines up. You know what I mean? I'd unhook it here and take the oil pan off. And I'd leave that alone. So um, instead of unhooking the hose, it's going to be too hard to get off. We'll just unhook it right here. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that looks simple enough. That is the, that's probably the oil pickup for the motor. Know what I mean? Like a, the absolutely crucial part of the oil system yeah, is that. Right. That's the oil pickup. Right, Same as Hudson, it. it's external. <laughs> Probably has an O-ring in it. Just kind of. Oh, you can reach right down through here. With the ratchet? socket, yep. Now, yeah. what I'm thinking is that's going to have to drop down. Yeah. To take the rest of the nut off this thing, because the nut's not going to come off all the way. Oh, it okay. Yeah. Away. It's, yeah. The same as on the fan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we want to make sure we didn't miss any bolts up in there around. There's one, actually. There's yeah. There's two. Yeah. There's one right there. Wow. Long one. That cover, I think, did have to come off. To see it. Yeah, no, the bolt, the oil pan drops down and then slides ahead to come out. <laughs> should uh, give a little we kick. We have to take this pan off, too. Should give a little kick, shouldn't I? Do we? Don't look like it, Jimbo, but we might. The inspection pan, you want to take that off? Yeah, I think it's in the way of the oil pan. I, I'm looking for a socket. Well, Isn't we can it take it the, off. It's only a certain amount of bolts. Yeah. I want to get a different, different cut I think it. that when the oil pan comes down, the edge is going to catch on it. Okay. Uh, I want to get a different, that's for, that's for the, how did you find a 716 so fast? It, Man, it, it, when it, I put it my hand down, it jumped right into my hand, so <laughs> it was easy. <laughs> Those are for the front cover. Okay. Just trying to remember. Oh no. I, I got I, one here. Oh, I you got one. I've never used one of these things before. Just pull the trigger. I'm only going to pull that. There's one in there right now. Oh, you got to dump okay. it out. Oh my God. Okay, Jimbo. They'll, they'll bite your fingers if you got a No, it's, it's not as dangerous as a chainsaw. Nope. They'll jam your fingers. They got, they got quite a bit of power. They'll jam your fingers if you're not ready. 
if jam your fingers. Oh, they will. Those things there, if they got quite a bit of power. They'll jam your fingers if something's tight. Yeah, one more. Oh, there's one. I got a nut up front here that I got to take off. Well, yeah, we can check the torque burr bolts. Washer stayed on that one, that will come off. Does that little <coughs> timing mark go up in behind this flywheel? No, it's underneath. Okay, it's underneath, so yeah. it comes off with it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we so don't want to touch the oil oil pump area and thus you know what you're doing so you'd have to in, uh, inquire a little information before you disturb that okay so what's going to go on is is uh, I'm going to take it shouldn't fall it shouldn't fall right off I wouldn't think um, considering the bolts weren't tight unless he silicone the gaskets but the seepage coming out indicates that there was no silicone on the gaskets because okay. it wouldn't seep if they had silicone on it. all right um, so. I'm going to which side do you want because oh. if, you, if you take this side, that you have to, when we pull it down a little bit, you have to finish taking that nut off right yep. here. Yeah, okay. So you got one here, you got one there, and uh, actually I can take that off and that will hold it, would it not? Yes. Yep. Yeah, we don't want to miss it. Oh, yeah, you missed one right up in there. You've got to get it with a wrench, Okay. I think. And it was loose. <laughs> it's not funny, but I have to laugh um, because... Well, we're doing this for a reason. It's not, you know, there is a reason why we're doing this. <laughs> we're baby curious boy, to come see Come on, put a smile on your face, yeah. baby. <laughs> well. What, Jimbo? What? Like this. He put a, uh, a faulty lock washer on this one. I'll show it to you when I get it out. Well, I'm just kind it of... It was loose. I'm just kind the of... The bolt was loose. Okay, yeah, it I, wasn't... I, yeah. I understand that, but I'm just kind of wondering, should they be lock washers or flat washers? Shouldn't they be flat washers? Yeah. Like, why... Well, this... It, it's cast. It's not like uh, sheet metal. But, well, that... It should be flat washers, shouldn't it? I don't know if it really matters, well, you but get, look you, at the washer that he put on, and it was loose. It was loose. It wasn't squashed out, but there's the washer. Like that's what I'm wondering. Like, like um, just a minute now. What am I thinking? Where's the little? You know, like you have to take socket. total pride in everything you do, and when you don't, uh, there's evidence that shows sloppiness. <laughs> you know, like, geez, I take more pride in mowing my lawn. <laughs> At night time with my eyes closed. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to discourage. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> don't want to discourage you. No, Christ, don't get Jolene no. upset. Oh, we uh. missed another bolt. Uh, right up in there. All right, I'll give you this. Oh. <clears throat> I'm getting better at this. Yeah, there's two in there. Two in there? Yeah, there's two up there. Yeah. It's not all the way out yet. You've got the cup. Oh, I might not be able to get at the second one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right on. The, you're, yeah, you got her. Yeah. Oh, that handle there. is coming off. I've got one bolt to take off here, Jimbo. Okay. And, uh, and then, then it's that, then it's the bolt or the, the, yep. the, the nut you have on the... Um, Unless we missed one. Unless we missed one. You said it. Oh, it's already dropped here. Okay, good. Good. Okay, we haven't missed anything up in there yet. Uh, can you, do you have a flashlight where you can oh, take a look? They're all out. They're all out? Yeah. Okay. So I got one over here. 
and then we're good. And then you're taking a nut um, off. Okay? Yeah, I, I see all the holes. Yeah. I don't see any more bolts. Got a hold of it? Yep. Okay, this, uh, take your time because this uh, okay. oil pickup, maybe we should have took it off the rubber hoses. I'm not sure if that wants to come out of this housing. Know what I mean? Okay. I'm not sure if this wants to come out of that. Do you I, want me to I don't know what it looks like inside there. Do you want me to put that back on? Well, it's, it's easy to put back on. There, it's back on. But maybe we should unhook the rubber hose. Okay. Because I don't know if that wants to come out of there. Let's put the nut back in, or the bolt yep. back in. Uh, screwdriver. Yeah, I didn't know if that wanted to come off or not. Flat, obviously, or 5 sixteenths, is it? Uh, yes, yes. All right. But I, I, it, doesn't, it doesn't look like it wants to move, although it has moved. It is loose, but I don't know what's going on in there. Like, I would suspect there's just an O-ring in there or a gasket. Yeah. yeah, probably just a gasket. But. <laughs> Is that tight? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Um. We don't want to rip that gasket if possible. That seems, that seems to be the tighter thing of the unit of them all, to be honest with you. You know what I mean? So yeah, that I'm, doesn't want to pull up off those bolts. So. It doesn't want to turn either, does it? That looks like a hard thing. Usually, oh. oh, I hate rubber hoses. Me too. Yeah. You end up barking your knuckles every oh, time. Oh, yeah, and they never come how, off. How like, about we do, just try it again, just put a little bit of, I'll take this one out on this side. You know, like, we'll, maybe what? that does come off there. It's already <laughs> loosened off. But. Are you ready? Just a sec. Um, like it's already loosened off yeah. there, but maybe it comes off. Boy, that rubber hose is some sealed. Well, that won't pull off there, Jimbo. It doesn't. Uh, do you have a little, little pointier screwdriver? The end is gone. Okay. Well, you um, know what? I'm going to put that. I want to put that bolt back in the side to hold it up. Then, if you want to? Yeah. Give me one. Oh, this is coming off here. Okay. Maybe I might be all right. Okay. It yes, it is coming off. Oh. I got a having a little tough time with the gasket sticking around the studs. I need a pointier screwdriver. Okay. This is uh, dolled up. Oh, can you give him that one right there, baby? The red one there. A your, little one. Right under your foot. Just a little bit more point on it. That one work, Jimbo? You think? Uh, it's full of electricity and metal filings. Bang it on the ground. Bang it on the cement. Oh, that works. That's why I usually give her a bang. Okay. Oh, we re we'll have to replace that gasket. There is an O-ring in there. Um, Got her? I'm just wondering what... Maybe that rubber hose does have to come off because I'm not sure what's going on down inside here on this oil pump thing. Because it, it has a pipe going down, but I don't know if it's going to pull out or if it has a big monstrosity down there. But. All right. Maybe we can pull it off. Let's just leave it and just pull it off. Well, it doesn't, it, it's stuck on there. It doesn't want to come out any farther. See, ah. it moves up and down freely that much, but I don't know what's going on in there. And this rubber hose seems to be really tight. Would it help me wiggling it at all? <clears throat> ah, I got, I got the rubber hose to turn. Still a bolt there, sweetheart? No. Uh, no. 
Oh, no, that's just a stud. Do we have something we can set this on? How about we just wiggle her? Oh, the rubber hose came off. Yeah. Good. I got it. Okay. Yeah, the rubber hose come off on the end that I wasn't messing with. I'm, I was pulling off on the top and it came off on the bottom. So I guess I grabbed the wrong one. What's that? Anyway, Jimbo, come, Jimbo, come take a look. Oh, that came off relatively good. Just a minute now. You know, like minimum problems. Just a minute now. Um, Just a minute, I want to With that much blackness, yeah. I would say he's got the wrong filter. It doesn't fit. What? I think he's got a short What's filter. That? What's it's, that? Come he's on, got a short on, filter instead on, of a long on, filter. Over this side. What's all that metal? Oh, get the camera. It looks like um, metal filings. <laughs> I mean, like just a minute now. I'll get a. Uh, just make and you watch. from my understanding, you know in there? if it had the right filter, there's no metal filings, there's no black sludge. The filter's designed to pick that up. The oil pump picks up oil. But that ain't no good right there. Well, that should have been in the filter. But just a minute. No, I there think should, he's, there should, listen, look at no, the, no, no. Yes, you're right. Come over that here. is poison. That, but the filter should have picked that up. Come over so here. he's got the wrong filter. The filters, maybe there's no filter in there. Come over here. But it's still, the sludge in that metal should not be there. Come over here. And the filter should have picked it up. So the filter, maybe what, there's that, no filter. What about that metal? Yeah. What would you say? Poison. <laughs> it's over. Yeah, poison. You wouldn't have that much metal in the brand new engine. And you shouldn't have the metal in the oil pan. It should be in the filter. Because the motor, the oil pan picks, the oil pump picks up oil, goes through the filter. Every bit of the oil is filtered, which means the filter picks up all sludge, all dirt. It takes thousands of miles for an oil pan to have sludge in the bottom. I wasn't expecting and that. And this is dirty and it has metal. So I'd say there's no filter or he's got a short filter when it's supposed to have a long filter and it's not sealed and it's bypassing the filter because you're not filtering your metal or the oil is not being filtered. That's metal. Does the magnet stick to it? Well, come on, Jimbo. That's metal. You can tell it's yeah. metal. Uh, well, for 30 seconds of running, that's a lot of metal. Well, it's actually not metal. It has, does a magnet stick to it? No, it's like a material of some sort. Gas cleaning wire, wire wheel stuff, like a wire, like steel wool. Dirt yeah. from cleaning, like steel wool, and then wash and have steel wool left in the cavity where it gets in the oil. But that's not supposed to be in there, though, is it? It shouldn't be in there. And as I said, the filter is supposed to pick up all this, not in there. The filter picks it up. Like when people want to tell, like I've seen it on shows, when someone takes a filter apart and they want to see if the motor has metal filings, they cut the filter apart and look at the filter to see if it has any metal filings. So, but that, that's plenty dirty. There's a light there, um, Jimbo. What? Yeah, uh, well, from here, this doesn't, nothing looks too bad at a quick glance. You had to lay down and look up in at the pistons to see. But there really shouldn't be sludge down here because the filter should have picked all dirt, all residue. That's like fucking... Yeah, that's sludge. That's like the sludge of a thousand miles or ten thousand miles sludge. Here, like the filter is supposed to pick all dirt. There should be nothing in the oil pan for this thing running for one minute. The filter should get it. So I'd say he's got the wrong filter or no filter, and that's why there's dirt here because it's not being filtered. He must have the wrong filter in it. 
or too short and it's not just, hitting the rubber. I'm just I'm just slowing up here. I want to slow. Yeah. Up, I want to slow okay. up here yeah. for a second. I'm kind of excited too. I got to. I want to slow up for a second. Yeah. Now <laughs> regroup. Yeah, let's <laughs> Jimbo regroup. <laughs> so let's do we do we do we go any further or or do you just say hmm. Like, take the filter, take no, this off. No, is there any sense of me? Is there sense of me going any further? Um, we didn't check the metal, a, a, a magnet on that sludge. That it, it didn't really feel like it. It felt more like uh, cleaning apparatuses that what? got missed in the wash up. But what I'm what I'm saying, this like is like steel wool or something. Well, well, this is what I'm saying. If it's it looks brand, awful dirty. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't make me happy that it's like it, that. Uh, that. That's like that should even be there. That should be in the filter. That's what a filter does. It, it picks up all that as it goes through the system. There should be no sludge in this oil pan. It should be in the filter. But so I think he's he's it. I think he's got the wrong filter in there, and it's not being filtered. But one minute of running shouldn't make that much sludge. So that's what I'm like saying. This thing like, hasn't been run any more than a minute or two. What? Right here? Yeah, like all yeah I know. You can feel it. Like it's it's black. Like it's, it's dirty. It, it, it's it, like Jimbo said, that shouldn't be there. Like that's No, the filter's supposed to, like people cut filters apart to inspect to see how good a motor it is. Like I've seen on TV where they cut a filter apart and see mitral filings. Ooh, that's, yes, the motor need, it's, it's bad. But I don't think there's any filter. I think he's got the wrong filter, and that's the sludge. But it shouldn't have sludge. Oh, I'm going have... I'm I'm to ask you a question. Okay. Where are, should we continue from here? Should, should we continue? Like, should, is there, why, why should I continue in the investigation and keep going and spending my time? Or just call it quits? Hmm. I, I, to me, to be honest with you, to be honest with you, I'm going to give my honest opinion. Finding that in the oil pan, I don't give a shit what it is. I don't give a shit what it is. If it's what it, I don't give a shit what it is. By the looks of the way that looks, and, and the sludge on that, um, like that's you, you might as well it. not bother cleaning it if you're going to run it because it's going to add to more and more. Well, as I'm you just drive. I'm just saying, like to me, for the money that you paid, and how long it's run, that's not new. Um, it's not a new engine. The Oldsmobile rebuilt motor, I had to take the oil pan off it yeah. to put on the other oil pan, and it was a supposedly rebuilt motor with maybe 20,000 miles on it because it you know, the paint yeah. was burned off it and it was run. And I took the oil pan off, no sludge. It was spotlessly silver metal, clean as a whistle. Not, a, not even enough to wipe in one finger. Well, it's, it's, and it's, this is run for two minutes, and it, the oil pan looks like a thousand miles. Yeah. Looks like a thousand miles with no filter. Well, it's just, just like, for me. Like no, you, it's, it's, to basically to go any further, it means we have to do the whole engine. We have to go through the whole thing. Um, honestly, yes. I'm. Uh, if you put it back together and run it a thousand miles, take the oil pan off, you should have five times that much sludge because things are... No, we're doing right. Well, what uh, is the sense when it's doing that? Um, like, what, why, would we, why would we do that? Like, well, what are we going to have to go through? Like, if we're going to take the, the pan off the filter and, and, and find that, yeah, what no, else are we going to miss? Like, we just, we just know that it's... I, I, to me, it's a no-no. It's a no-no. Like I, I don't know what to say. There you should either, be no. That you should take be clean. it apart and you and you do it all over again. That's what that it means. That should not be dirty. It should not be. Should no. it at all? If there was dirt in the motor, the filter picks it up. Yeah. Well, we, not we, the oil. We, pan. we filmed all that shit down yeah. in there. Why should? Why is that there? It's brand new. Like it's just not. No. It, it, that, that's bad. That that's as bad as it bad could be. I don't know what else to say. I mean, I don't know. The proof is right there. I mean, look how I can take it off my. my oh no, that <laughs> like that, that is dirtier than ten thousand miles of driving the Hudson with no filter. Like that's like, and the Hudson was a wear fast. Motor. And we have that stuff like, down in there. Like it's yeah, not. No, it's bad. Like it's not. Uh, it's not worth your time. Like I mean, I don't know if you want to no. take it. You can feel stuff in it. Well, 
Uh, gritty. Yeah. Metal. Well, I don't know. Well, whatever. It doesn't well, if matter. you had a magnet, doesn't, you, it, it doesn't matter magnet what it is. A magnet will pick it right up. Like a magnet will tell you if it's metal or if it's cleaning dirt. It doesn't matter what it is. It does. It's not supposed to be there. It's not supposed to be there. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is. But the fact that it's there indicates there's an issue with the filter. Yes. And when you because that it, should the filter should have that dirt. We should see that clean. Hmm, it looks clean. Let's take the filter off. And we see the dirt on the filter. Then we still have the same issue, but the filter must be uh, incapable of holding. It's either full or it's, it's not incapable of doing what it's uh, doing. The filter must be the wrong filter, and it's not hitting the rubber mounts, and it's not filtering, and that's why the sledge is there. But it's still poison. It's still bad. Whether the filter's right or not, it doesn't matter. It should not be dirty. That's dirtier than any motor that you run for 10,000 miles with no filter, like the antique motors. <laughs> to me, it's over. It's yeah. either you tear it apart, redo the whole thing. Um, like or any old motor that you have, if you take over. the oil pan off after, after thousands of miles with no filter, that's the dirt you see. Not a motor that's rebuilt that only has two minutes of running. And you know what? I'm not going to accept, I'm, for me, I'm not going to accept any excuse of what it is. I'm not going to accept that. It shouldn't be like that. So there's no, no excuses. Not, I wouldn't accept any excuse. You bought a brand new engine, and to have that in your oil pan is not a brand new engine. It, it hasn't been run yet. It hasn't been run yet. To see all that garbage a in minute. there. That's, huh? A minute or two. A minute or two. Well, it, it was it, run for a minute or two. Well, even if it was run for 15 minutes. Well, yeah, but it, like, yeah. It wouldn't well, run for 15 minutes with no, no, no radiator in it. It never had a No, no, he didn't have it running for 15 minutes. It would overheat. He'd have it running for a minute or two. It heats up, turn it off, runs. And you heard it run. It sounded good. Yeah. But that, 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 that's, that's poison. Yeah, like, it's over. I'm not putting it in the car. It's over. You're going the to have motor, to. He's going to have to come and get it and give your money back, or, basically. And we it's not like we haven't got any proof. I mean, the only reason we're there is because of there, because of the fan. Like, it's only, that's the only reason like we're there. Like the Oldsmobile motor, I, the oil pan I took off, it was clean well, That's inside. what I'm saying. Like, there's, not a smidgen of There should of be, dirt. There should be nothing, no that junk in there. None. It should be spotless. If there's any dirt, it should be in the filter, not in there. And that shouldn't have any dirt either. I'm you know, not no, it, very happy. Uh, it's we can go on, but we can't go on. And on and on and, and on. We can only repeat ourselves. We, so. we can't go on. <laughs> we we can, can only say the same thing over and over and over. Would, no. you, would you put in your car no. at $7,000? No. Um, <laughs> and that's no. not small claims court either. Like 7000 5000 is small claims court. I, I mm. you know, the motor that you took over to Buddy, mm -hmm. my old motor, when he puts it together... I bet you you can run it for a thousand miles, take the oil pan off, and it'll be a hell of a lot cleaner than that. Even if he doesn't board or do anything right. Like something's wrong. It, it shouldn't be like that. You know what I mean? Like, All right, we're signing off. <sighs> and give us your opinion. And you might win a hat or a shirt. We thought today was going to be good. I, listen, I was hoping for the best. Let's yeah. give away a hat or shirt. Everybody following, just give them a hat or shirt. But. Basically, you have to, have, I don't know, we have to ask ourselves, and I'm asking myself when I've seen the bottom of the oil pan, it's over. I'm not going any further. I'm not checking anymore. I'm not doing anything. I'm not going over it. I'm not tearing it apart. I'm not anything. Joanne's going to have to deal with it the way she deals with it. And wow. basically, I think she knows what she's doing. Jolene is legally blonde. Hey, baby. Uh, like they all say, the proof is in the oil pan. <laughs> <laughs> the proof is in the oil pan. <laughs> 814 comments. We want to thank everybody for hanging with us. We appreciate it. We really do. And um, I'm disappointed. But you know what? After we found what we found, we had to dig a little deeper to find what we found. And um, I'm not happy. Um, no, it should the be. comment. Uh, oh, right on. Cool. <clears throat> Benny Hofford. And we were not going to read the bad comment anyways because it's not necessary, is it? Not necessary. Not. 
Uh, he we, put a thumbs up. Putting a uh, thumbs up wins you a hat or a shirt of your choice, and all you have to do is contact Jolene. She'll give you a hat or a shirt of your choice. And i got to thank Jimbo for helping me. I appreciate it. And um, we found what we did not want to. Um, you want to give a last? Yeah. You want to give a last word, Jimbo? I can't say anything without repeating myself. Go for it. Repeat yourself. It's always a good idea to check. <laughs> I'll agree with don't, you. Don't take anything for granted. Yeah. Have a good one, everybody. We we uh, we'll see you tomorrow. And um, basically, Joey's going to have to become legally blonde because it's over for me. Have a good one. Uh -huh.